All right, BFit Nation. Welcome back to another BFit Live on our Motivational Monday programmed live workout team. All right, welcome. Get settled in. Grab your towel. Grab your water. Grab a pair of dumbbells because that's what you'll need for today's resistance-based training workout. All right, team. Um, if you're new to the BFit Live program workout, this is where we get a chance to really focus on ourselves, to focus on our health, our wellness, by really pushing our bodies to be a little bit more active this morning, this evening, this afternoon, wherever we may be uh, within uh, our location. Speaking of that, drop a note in the comments below. Let us know where you are. Let us know where you're joining from. Uh, let us know about your goals and how we are fitting, finishing off this January. Uh, so I'd like to introduce my guest, my uh, partner, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Good. <laughs> doing well. How are you this morning? <laughs> no, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm excited for today's workout because uh, it's resistance, uh, resistance-based workouts. So, uh, with, with that comes weight, comes weight training, comes strength training. And so with those dumbbells that we will have, we're really just going to slow our movements down a little bit uh, and really focus on our form, really focusing on... Uh, the specific muscle groups that we're going to target for today. Uh, but with that team, we have a full body workout available. So again, grab that, uh, grab those dumbbells, <clears throat> um, grab your water. You don't need a mat for today, so uh, that's uh, <clears throat> that's optional. But if you have one for comfort for one of our four movements, uh, then go ahead and grab that as well. Uh, let's go to the timing for today, team. The timing is going to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Once again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. We'll complete four different resistance-based movements to get us through those rounds to really focus on a full body workout. And then that's gonna complete the workout for today. Um, <clears throat> Sergeant Barry and I will demo each of the four movements. We'll jump into some dynamic stretching. That way we can get our bodies primed up and prepared and ready to work. And then we'll go directly into our workout so capping off the full workout at just under 20 minutes with a full program at 35 minutes of work. All right, team. So uh, get settled in here. We will go through the demos and then <clears throat> and then we'll get started. Uh, if you're new, uh, again, drop us a note. Let, let us know where you're joining us for from today. Uh, I have my screen up on my end. So if you have any questions, any comments, go ahead and leave them uh, in the comments section below and we will go ahead and address them as needed if you need any modifications, if you have any questions. Uh, Keisha from Florida, I see you in coming in today. So welcome, uh, Keisha. Get settled in as well. <clears throat> and uh, let's go ahead and get started, team. So let's go ahead and get started with the demos for today. So we're going to grab a pair of dumbbells here. Uh, Sergeant Barry will start us off. Uh, we'll grab the pair of dumbbells here. We have a reverse lunge with a hammer curl at the top of the position. So Sergeant Barry's gonna start with that reverse lunge. He's gonna take one leg, extend it back into a reverse lunge, driving back up through that front heel, back to standing, and then moving into a hammer curl, correct? And then resetting back down, opposite leg goes back to the back of the room here, reverse lunge into a hammer curl, all right? Most of these movements here, we're really trying to dive into multiple muscle groups at the same time, right? At the same time during our work. So again, a little bit of lower body movement with that reverse lunge and then bicep activation with the hammer curl. All right, that's gonna be movement number one. Movement number two, we're gonna come down to the floor with one dumbbell here. The option here uh, to add the dumbbell or to subtract the dumbbell and just go into a body weight movement. But our home base, our movement right here is gonna be a four point hold. So <clears throat> with that four point hold, our hand is gonna be stacked underneath our shoulder. Our knee is gonna be underneath our hips, knees. From there, we're gonna elevate the knees so that way our back is nice and flat in a tabletop position and our head is gonna look down to our fingertips. From here, we're gonna add in a row. So either plus or minus the dumbbell here, we can make a nice strong fist and come up to a row position, really forcing us to stabilize and balance and a lot of core activation off of this three-point stance now where we are rowing, engaging our lats as well into that row. So dumbbell or no dumbbell really activates a lot of your body here, but if we add the dumbbell, we're gonna row 20 seconds on the left and or right. We'll reset, we'll switch, we'll go back up into our four-point stance, three-point with the row here. So three, uh, 20 seconds on that opposite arm, 
and then uh, that'll complete the movement. So 40 seconds of work in total is going to round us out. All right, that's gonna be movement number two. Movement number three, we have a pair of dumbbells as well. Some lower body work and some upper body work. Again, we have a dumbbell squat into a lateral raise. So we're gonna push our hips back. We're gonna track down into our low squat from here, drive back up through our heels, standing position, and then we're out into a lateral raise. All right, engaging our shoulders, the top of our shoulders as well. So lower body work, engaging our glutes, our quads, hamstrings, and then into that lateral raise, really activating our shoulders, okay? Be mindful of what we can lift because what we can lift with our legs will probably be a lot more than what we can lift with our shoulders. So be mindful of that as well whenever we're going into those lateral raises, okay? Doesn't take much to work out our shoulders with the lateral raise, but Think about tempo. Think about a little bit of a faster tempo uh, with the squat and then into that lateral raise. Okay, that's gonna be movement number three. And movement number four, we have two movements on the floor here. We have a core twist. So we're gonna take a seat on the floor here. We're gonna elevate our heels, recline back, heads looking forward from here. We're gonna twist to the left and to the right. Okay, so nice core twist. Our torso is following, our head is following along with us as well hands together, or if we want to add some weight to this as well, we can scale up with a dumbbell, with one of the dumbbells that we may have with that core twist. For 20 seconds with that twist and that remaining 20 seconds, we're gonna go into a V hold. So same movement here. We're gonna extend our legs nice and straight. Hands get placed nice and straight up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna hold this position for 20 seconds of the remaining round, all right? 20 seconds of that remaining set. That's gonna be movement number four. So core twist with an isometric hold of a V sit. All right, team? Those are gonna be the four movements for today. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm already warmed up. Sorry, Barry. Um, <laughs> I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to go. All right, team, so again, if you have any, you know, any comments, please leave them down below here. Uh, we're gonna get warmed up with a dynamic stretch, with some dynamic stretching before we get started. But, um, Again, let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're having fun with and uh, grab that water again. A pair of dumbbells is all you're going to need and we will get started. So with that, let's go into our dynamic quad stretch, okay? Dynamic quad stretch here to kick us off. We have a lot of lower body movements here. So opening up our quads, our hips, our glutes, and things like that, really warming up those targeted muscle groups is going to help us out a lot during today's workout. So we're going to take that right leg. We're going to extend it back, pushing our hips forward and extending one arm up overhead. <clears throat> it's really gonna help with muscle mobility and uh, mid to upper back shoulder mobility and flexibility with that high extension, okay? Really pushing those forward. We'll do each of these dynamic stretches for about 30 seconds here. Take your time, no need to go with us at our pace, but if you need to sit in a little longer, that's perfectly fine as well, all right? Good stuff here, one more time here. Nice deep breath in, we're gonna exhale. Really bringing that leg back. All right team, nice wide stance here. Nice wide stance here. Our toes are gonna be pointed forward. From here, we're gonna shift our weight to the right and to the left. Not too aggressive here with this lateral lunge, but we're just looking at opening up our hips, the inner thigh here. You can feel that stretch in our adductors. Keeping our chest up at the same time, really filling our legs with some blood flow, warming our bodies up, warming our jo joints up, and getting ready to work. Good. Again, about 30 seconds here, right? We can feel our bodies warming up here. Yeah, something just snapped. <laughs> that's it. Well, that's good. Let's, Is that a good sign? Let's, <laughs> it can be. Let's flush it out here. <laughs> good. Last three, two, one, all right team, since we do have some reverse lunges in the works here, we're gonna take a few reverse lunges with an overhead reach. So we're gonna come to the top of our workout space here. We're gonna take our right leg, we're gonna extend it back into a reverse lunge, drop it down, right arm comes up and reaches over to our left. Feeling that stretch in your back, your lats here, good. You don't need to set in, you can set in as long as you want for that movement here. Reverse lunge, drop it down. Left leg, left leg goes back, left arm goes over, reaching and feeling that stretch. Go ahead and reset into the top. And again, at your pace here. 
Good. Really forcing us to balance as well. A little core engagement, core activation. Good. There you go. And don't forget to smile, team. Don't forget to smile. <laughs> Have some fun with this, right? Have some fun with this. These are, um, these are workouts that should be challenging, but they should also be fun, right? Try to make it fun. Try to make it engaging. Again, let us know. Share with your friends. This is a great time to really kick off that workout with a share to keep our friends, our coworkers, spouses, and siblings accountable for our workout. So this is a great plug to really just have something available to you for you to move. All right. Um, let's go down into a nice deep stretch here of our hips. So again, if we've been seated for a long period of time and <clears throat> we may, our hips may be a little bit tight, we're going to go shoulder width apart here. We're going to go down into our squat position. Elbows are going to get tucked in inside of our knees here. And we're really just going to push our elbows out here. Really sitting in, opening up that chest here. Nice deep squat. Focus on our breathing here. And if you wanted to add in a rotation, one hand comes down, one arm comes up. Feeling that stretch in your torso. Right, come back down. Reset, one hand comes down, one hand comes up. A little back twist here, really warm us up here. Same thing here, staying on the heels. Good rotation here. Last three, two, one. All right, team, standing back up with that hold really pushed a lot of blood flow to our legs. So I think we're ready to go here with that rotation, really opened up the mid to upper back as well. So let's start the timer here. Again, movement number one, if you're doing this for the first time, BeFit Live program workout resistance training as we have our first pair of dumbbells here. Movement number one is gonna be reverse, a reverse curl to a hammer curl, reverse lunge to a hammer curl. Movement number two will be a four point hold and with a dumbbell row. Movement number three is going to be a squat to a lateral raise and movement number four, we are on the ground with a V-sit and a core twist. All right team, sounds good. Let me start our timers here. That way we can jump right in here. All right, again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest is what we're gonna work through for today. 10 seconds here, reverse lunge with a hammer curl starting in five seconds. All right, team. Top of our workout space here, two, one. Here we go, team. Right leg goes back, right and or left. Reverse lunge, nice strong hammer curl. Drop that rear knee down to our comfort level, drive up to standing. Good. I like to say the first round, we learn the movements, see where we're at, see where our body is at, and then we can gauge and scale up. 13 seconds here. Again, with resistance, with weight, be mindful of your movements. Five seconds here. Out in three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds to recover here. We are gonna drop one dumbbell and we're gonna keep one dumbbell if this is where we're at. We're gonna be on the floor with the four point hold and a dumbbell row. So again, core activation and some lat work here. Four point stance here. Our hand is gonna stack underneath our shoulder, our knees underneath our hips. Dumbbell, just that chest or abdomen. 40 seconds on the clock here. Nice strong hold. Right arm grabs it for 20 seconds. We're gonna squeeze up at the top, keeping our elbow close to our torso here. Work one side at a time, or you can do like Sergeant Barry and alternate left arm and right arm. That's gonna be a little bit more challenging. 20 seconds in, so load in sides if you're there. <laughs> I'm just bad at following instructions. <laughs> no, that's great. Eight seconds here. You know, we've done a movement like that before where you grab and you drag a dumbbell across your center with a hole. Two, one, <laughs> and time. Good job, 20 seconds here, standing up nice and tall here. Woo, now we are warmed up. I think I'm warmed up now. For sure. Dumbbell squat to a lateral raise, okay? Dumbbell squat to a lateral raise, coming up in three, two, one. All right, team, here we go. Squatting down to our comfort level, raising up into a lateral raise. All right, 
key notes here. Try to keep our feet shoulder width apart. Soft bend in our knees to absorb some of our weight. Take pressure off of our knee joints. Good. Head stays up as well when we squat down, pushing our hips back into our lateral raise, making that T formation. 10 seconds here. Out in five. Last three, two, one. And with the hold, look at that. Woo. Sasha Perry's in beast mode today. <laughs> 15 seconds to recover. We're gonna sit down on the floor here for our core twist and our V sit. All right, team. Core twist and V sit coming up in three, two, one. All right. We're gonna elevate those heels today. If we are not with that elevation, we can go ahead and put our heels on the floor. This would be a great modification to absorb some of that weight. But if we have it within us today, we can lift our heels like Sergeant Barry and control that twist from the left and to the right. Three seconds here, then we're gonna go into a B sit hold. Here we go. Extend those legs out, palms facing up. Nice reclining back position. Our head is looking up at our toes or a little higher at the ceiling. Five seconds here, nice strong hold. In three, two, one, and recover here. <laughs> yeah, nice strong movement here. All right, team, that's round number one. So we have learned the movements. This is a great time to really focus on how we did this first round, where we can improve if it's timing. Let's go ahead and bump up our tempo just a little bit more. If it's the weight, let's go ahead and engage ourselves and think, oh, you know what? I can do a little bit more if I have that accessibility to me. All right, 30 seconds here, grab that towel, grab your water, go ahead and dial it in here. All right, Jen from Germany is joining us, Sergeant Barry. Awesome. Jen from Germany. <laughs> Jen, 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 to be frank. Twice nice. 15 seconds here. <laughs> All right, team. Um, again, movement number one, we have that reverse lunge with a hammer curl, okay, team? Reverse lunge with a hammer curl, five seconds here. Top of our workout space, one leg goes back into that reverse lunge, two, one. Here we go, 40 seconds on the clock, reverse lunge. Drop that rear knee down into our nice strong hammer curl. Controlling each movement as we go, all right? We wanna be, we wanna be in control of our body. Not only that, but slowing the movement down can really let you read your body, see where you may be fatigued at, to see where your weakest link may be. Can also give you the opportunity to scan your body and see how your form is doing. Keeping that chest up, shoulders rolled back into that reverse lunge, into our nice strong hammer curl. Last three, two, one, and time. Recover here. Good job. Sticking with one dumbbell. Four point hold with an alternating, with an alternating rope. <laughs> Or a single row, 20 seconds on each side. Either one, five seconds here. Let's get down on the floor here. Here we go, three, two, one. All right, team, four point stance here, dumbbell or no dumbbell. Your choice here. If we can come off, we need to come off our knees. We can drop to our knees as well and go into that dumbbell row, okay? Really attacking our lats on each side. 20 seconds here, let's go ahead and switch sides. Sergeant Barry will show you the elevated stance. I'll go ahead and show you the regression here. 10 seconds here. Good job. Keep with us, last five. Three, two, one, and time. Recover, all right. That's a tough one. And I show the modified version. Yeah. <laughs> yes, again, that four point, we can do uh, so much progression from that four point stance. We can do a lot with it. Um, dumbbell squat to lateral raise. So sticking with two dumbbells here. Remember we have that squat to lateral raise. Coming up in three, two, one. All right team, pushing those hips back. Nice compact squat here. Good, trying to make that nice T formation here. If we can bring those elbows in about half of an inch in front of us, that'll give us a little bit more mobility, a little bit more room to raise those elbows if we need. But we want to go ahead and control ourselves and stop at that T formation, at that head level. Good. 
12 seconds, 10 seconds here. <sighs> Driving up again, pushing those hips back, chest stays up. Good, last three, two, one, and time. Good job, recover here for 20 seconds. All right, this time, I'm gonna add in some weight with my core twist. So eight seconds here, on the floor here. Five, and we are starting our second, ending our second round here. Here we go, 20 seconds of a core twist. Again, our feet are elevated. Our, our heels can be on the floor here if needed. Adding in some weight can help if we are there today. Sergeant Barry is doing great with those twists. Last three seconds here, then we'll go into our hold. All right, drop the weight, extend the legs. Nice, strong reclining position here. Hands facing up. Again, if we need to put one heel down, let's go ahead and do that. It's a great option. We can come back up, drop one heel down, and help with our strength of our legs. Last two, one, and time. Ooh, ooh. ooh that was a good round. That oh, was. Yeah. Are we halfway done? <laughs> we're halfway done. All right. <laughs> Team, we're halfway done. All right. As we stand up, get that water in you. Let's go ahead and keep hydrated for today. Uh, we always want to stay hydrated with us for today. So, Eddie from Birmingham, welcome in. All right, team. For those who are watching today, out of the four movements, which four movements uh, are the most challenging for you? Which of the movements do you uh, favor the most? Let us know. Let us know in the comments below. I'd love to see uh, which ones you're working with and which ones are the most challenging for you. Again, if you have the time, if you have the need, uh, share this uh, workout with your partners, with your friends. Uh, let's keep each other accountable, healthy, and active one week at a time. One week at a time. All right, team. A pair of dumbbells here. We have a reverse lunge with the bicep curl. Coming up in three, two, one. All right, team. Here we go. Top of our workout space here. Reverse lunge into our strong bicep curl. Good. All right. Here we go. Good, I'm uh, listening to us breathe, right? Nice deep breath in on the way down. Exhale as you come back to standing position into our bicep curl here. 10 seconds. We're gonna finish with a smile. I know we are. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Last rep, recover here, 20 seconds. Drop from one dumbbell. <sighs> All right, team, it is warming up in here. I know it's gonna be warming up out there. <laughs> All right, five seconds here, team. Quickly on the floor here. Four point hold with an alternating row in three, two, one, and we row. 20 seconds on each side. Again, try to keep our grounded hand stacked underneath our shoulder. Our knees are stacked underneath our hips. Five seconds and then we alternate hands. And two, one, let's go to switch sides. Compose ourselves here, keeping our knees just above the floor here. Nice flat back, hips stay square to the floor. Our gaze is looking down. Five seconds, finishes out. In three, two, one. Good job. <laughs> Those are tough. Those are tough. We're asking a lot from that four point, that four point hold here. All right, team, standing up nice and tall here. Dumbbell squat to a lateral raise. Count us out in two. We're starting one. Here we go, team. Nice deep squat here. Nice strong lateral raise. There we go. Again, it doesn't take much to activate our shoulders but can definitely help us out through all movements, whether you're in the gym, you're testing. Nice, strong shoulders here. Again, full body workout for today's Be Fit Live. Last five seconds here, team. Finish this out. Last three, finish out our rep, wherever it may be. And time, good job. <laughs> good work, good work. All right, team. 
third round, finishing up here on the floor with a core twist and our V hold. Core twist, starting us off in three, two, one. Heels are elevated here for us in the BFIT Live Studio. <laughs> Good job. Again, think about engaging your core, actively engaging here. Last three seconds, we'll go into our hold. In two, one. All right, team. Legs extended, hands extended. Legs are extending as straight as possible here. Toes are facing up to the ceiling. Hands, palms are up to the ceiling. Reclining back here. Hold it. Last three, hold it. Two, one, and time. Recover here. Ooh. It's tough after the twists. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the twists are um, so the twists are also I mean you're you're reclining back engaging the core but then any type of hold um, you know we could have done we could do the same with squats into that low isometric hold here just really pushing down really strengthening our muscle groups our fibers in a different way right just holding and holding and holding 30 seconds here speaking of hold 30 seconds to recover and hold off to that third I'm sorry, to that last and final round. <laughs> All right, team. Looks like we are fired up in the comments. Let's go. Last round, best round. Sorry, Barry. Yes, best round, let's do it. <laughs> last round, best round. 10 seconds here. We're going to finish off with that pair of dumbbells and hammer curls. All right, team. We are up in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, team. Reverse lunge. Drive up into your hammer curl. Good. Good. You can see side various form from the front here. And I can show you what it looks like from the side. <laughs> Again, our knees, our legs, ideally want to go down into that 90 degree bend into that reverse lunge. Elbows are tucked in close to our torso. For our hammer curls, nice control. Last three, two, one. Drive up and recover here. Good job. All right. Ooh, drop those weights. Here we go. Last round. Last time you'll see this four-point hold with our row today, unless you repeat the class here. <laughs> All right, three seconds here into that four-point hold. Two, one, and 40 seconds on the clock, team. Go ahead and elevate those knees into that high pull, making sure that our back is flat, our head is looking down, our hips try to stay square to the floor here. Last three, we'll switch in two, one, go ahead and reset. Good. Again, try and exhale as you row up. Eight seconds. Good. Stay with us. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good work, BFIT Nation. Standing up nice and tall here. Dumbbell squat to a lateral raise. Eight seconds. Weight stays, stays in the hands here. All right, team. Sorry, Barry. Last one here. Last. Well, second to last, but... Last squat. squat. <laughs> there we go. We're tracking. Good. Good. Again, challenge yourself here. Drive up. Exhale. Lateral raise. Good job, team. Go at your own pace here. Keep form with your lateral raises. A nice soft bend at our elbows can help out as well. On the way up. Good. Last four seconds. Three, two, one, and recover. Sorry, bear with the hold. A little time under tension here. Good job. All right. V sits and ab crunches coming up in 10 seconds, team. Finish us off here. Finish off with us nice and strong. All right, team. We're up in three, two, one. Here we go. Good. 
Nice reclined position. Again, focus here. 25 and out. Five seconds here. We'll go into our fold. In three, two, one. Here we go. Legs extended. Hands extended. Focus for the last round here. Focus on our breathing. Keeping our core nice and tight. Reclining back. Seven seconds here. Heads looking up. Out three, two, one, and recover. Ooh, I think if you were not shaking during that last round, we weren't doing it right, but we were shaking. That's shaking. <laughs> All right, team. Let's go ahead and stand up. Grab that hydration. Grab that water. Again, BFit Nation, great work today during your BFit Live workout. Again, this is our opportunity to strengthen ourselves week after week. Sergeant Barry and I bring you cardio-based movements, resistance-based movements. Today was all about strength. Today was all about dialing in the weight that we are trying to move during each movement. <laughs> um, again, with, with strength training, again, focus on your form, focus on uh, your body parts and your, your connections that you need to do to make to really execute a nice, clean, proper form for our safety and to be injury free. All right, team. Um, as we catch our breath here, Sergeant Barry, name the first, name, name one of the movements today that you kind of, you enjoyed the most. I like the lunge the curl. Lunge. Yeah. The lunge and curl. Yeah. The reverse lunge with the, the hammer curl. Um, one of my personal favorites as well. Again, um, try to incorporate more movements into one, um, and more lifts into one movement, right? Really taking advantage of the time crunch that, uh, uh, that we may be under, right? We're, we're only 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. So 40 seconds of work, adding in a few extra steps. Could it have just been a reverse curl? Of course it could. We could dial it back to just a reverse lunge. Could it just be a hammer curl? Of course. We can uh, modify it to where you take out that reverse lunge, but adding in both really kind of elevates the movement and really attacks the cardiovascular system as if uh, you didn't know that your, your heart rate's elevated, your breathing is trying to stay under control, but you're forcing your body through a lot of different uh, movements and efforts. So um, it's a great way to take advantage of time, right? 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. That's a great time uh, to greet in a good amount of work in a little amount of time as possible. So <laughs> again, Beef Nation, good work today. Um, what we have, we have, uh, if you are looking for any additional workouts between Sergeant Barry and myself, um, if you are on our Facebook page, go into our videos, look at our playlists, uh, look for BeFit, the BeFit playlist, and you'll find our full catalog of BeFit live workouts. I believe this makes uh, 79 or 80 episodes of our BeFit live program workouts. So again, it's, it's a great amount, it's a great volume, it's a great catalog to really jump into in every workout. Uh, has been different. Every four movements have been different. So if you're looking for a way to challenge yourself, a way to spark that uh, activity level, um, jump into our playlist. Uh, we also have um, we also have our YouTube playlist as well. If YouTube is your platform, jump on over to YouTube at Shop My Exchange. Look for our BFit Live playlist. Share that live link. Share that link with your friends, families. Again, uh, help keep each other accountable. And if you're in store. Um, we have the exchange as we, we the exchange have everything that you may need to help keep yourself ready, to keep yourself resilient, prepared, and um, to keep yourself fit. Um, so I'm very, we had a great workout today. Yeah, it was fantastic. And um, just to, you know, reiterate what you said, you're getting a full body workout. Mm. And I felt pretty challenged in a pretty short amount of time. So right. that's really, it's just worth, it's rewarding and it's worth the payoff. So it was awesome. Right. Thanks exactly. for another good workout. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. And, and like we say, right, what, what you put into the workout is what you're going to get out of the workout as well. So, um, you know, give us your effort that you have for today. Really feel out your body. What you feel uh, may be challenging yesterday uh, could be really strengthening today. So, again, week by week and uh, just move, moving our body just a little bit more can really help with our cognitive thinking, with the body, with our health and our wellness. And so with that, be Fit Nation. Uh, great work today. Uh, let us know in the comments if you uh, if if you joined our workout today, and uh, let us know again. Let us know what movement uh, was your favorite. Um, I personally uh, like the uh, squat to lateral raise for some reason. I don't know I, today. 
I like to squat the lot of rice. <laughs> All right, Beefa Nation. Well, we will see you again next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, Beef at Ambassador here, Roy Montes, Senior Master Sonny Berry. Thank you so much again for challenging me. And we will see you again next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. All right, team. Cheers.